Okay, welcome to a Robert Mathematician video. Welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through the $100 riddle. So this has been going around Reddit for the last couple of weeks or so and it's trickier than you think. So be very careful when you do choose your answer. Let me go through the detail right now. So the problem is a man steals a $100 bill from a store's register. Then he buys $70 worth of goods at that store using the $100 bill and gets $30 change. How much money did the store lose? Was it $30, $100 or another answer? So you have 15 seconds to think about this and I'm going to dance here while she's thinking about it. Okay, so let's go through the answers. So first of all, our first answer of $30, you might have thought that was the correct answer and that's the change that he gets after the purchase. But remember, he stole that $100 in the first place. So that $70 of goods, yeah, he didn't have the money for that to start with. So our very first answer is wrong. Part B, then you think, ah, oh, well, it's $100 because he stole $100 from the store and then he's used that to buy some stuff and then have the $30 change. So it's still with $100 at the end. And that seems like the answer on the surface, but it doesn't take into account uh, something very, very specific. So when you go back to the store, um, obviously the store itself is making a profit on every purchase that you make. So out of those $70 of goods that you have, uh, for each of those goods, the store is actually making a profit. So you're not getting the full $100 there because let's say when you buy a coffee, for example, at $2.20, for example, and it costs them only $1 to actually make, they're making a profit of $1.20 per coffee. So you're not actually getting that full $100 back. You're getting a little bit less, but it will depend on the margin, so the percentage profit that they make on each of the goods. So it's a slightly trickier problem. The right answer here is other. It's going to be yeah, anywhere really between sort of $80 and $100, depending on what profit the actual store is making when that robber comes back and actually buys the goods. So did you get that answer? Again, please let me know in the comments below and uh, I want to see exactly what you thought about this problem.